Hello guys and welcome to a video rambling. Video rambling is where I make a short video telling you guys what the hell is up with the channel. I haven't posted a video for quite a while now, uh, over a week, and I haven't been doing as much content. The reason why, short story, uh, I've been concentrating on my house. My house, um, I've been building it myself over the past three years. I've been doing, I've been involved with every single part of the build. I did all the electrics myself, I've been doing all the flooring myself, I did all the furnishing myself most of the myself, but there was one job I was putting off to try and get done professionally, and that was the walls, the drywalling or plastering and smoothing that all out and getting the walls looking perfect. I was putting it off because last year when I was taught how to do it by my ex's grandfather, my ex's grandfather and father came over to help me out with some uh, some things, put up some uh, sheetrock panels and uh, or gypsum panels, and... Uh, got me started on the drywall, but I did a terrible job, and uh, I've been looking at the wall for the past year, and I've always thinking, I want to get someone to be able to do it professionally, so my walls look good. Problem is, a couple of months ago, my vehicle broke. The engine seized while I was up in the Highlands, and it cost a lot of money to get towed back, and to buy a replacement engine, and the work to get it fixed, I still haven't fully paid for it. It was quite a, quite a hassle, and it lost me all of my savings. So I was no longer able, it was no longer realistic that within the next year I'm going to be able to get my walls done professionally. And when you're living somewhere and you've got bare walls with screws all over the place and cracks and all that shit, it's not nice to look at, just boring plain walls. So I decided I'm going to give it another shot. I've been mean, taking it very slow, trying to get it, trying to get it decent. The, uh, the original wall I did last year, the joints are very visible. I did a terrible job at sanding it, and it tried to kill me anyway. I had some big issues. I had my mask on, but when you're living in the quarters of all the dust... See, these jobs you're meant to do before you move in. I moved straight over here and started doing the jobs while I was living here, because I had nowhere else to live, really. I just came over and I fucking moved in. 21 years old, moving across continents, living in an unfinished house in the middle of fucking winter. Canadian winter as well. It was minus 30. I... <laughs> I had to rush up some insulation on the walls and put up the vapor barrier and screw in some sheetrock. I was havoc my first winter. I had no plumbing, no electricity. I was absolute fucking havoc. That was around when I... That was before I did the Drox series, if you're remembering when. Because even during the Drox series, I barely had power. I had to... Uh, I had to can... Uh, what is it? I had to cancel videos halfway because I run out of electricity sometimes. Oh, it's fucking... It's fucking havoc. And I didn't even have proper Wi-Fi. I had to park outside of Walmart and use their public Wi-Fi to upload it. It was it was crazy. But yeah, I I just over the three years I've been doing all the jobs. It's very slow. I built the kitchen last year. That was that was a great help. I got the plumbing done the year before that. That was one of the first jobs I had done. I had to get help starting it. But after I had the uh, after I got the idea of it, I managed to do all the rest of the plumbing. It was it was great. My uh, ex is father did help me a little bit with that but I don't most of that myself it's been absolute havoc but that's why I haven't been uh, recording as much I didn't want distractions I wanted to crack on and get this done because it's a job I have put off for about a year and a half now thinking I would get somebody to help me professionally and that's no longer the case so I've got to try and get it done because ugly walls they're not very inviting I want to try and get it done I've I've done a ride the way I've done a ride is by uh, taking it very slowly. A job which a professional would do over two or three days, I've been doing over two or three weeks. I've been really, really taking my time. Because, like I said, I don't want to dust, I don't want to sand it because the dust fucks up my lungs. I was, I was, uh, after last time, I was on a steroid inhaler for like two months before I could breathe properly again. So I'm not sanding fuck in here. I'm just putting the mud in, instead of sanding it to make it smooth, I'm putting on more mud to make it smooth. So I'm doing 10 times as much mud over the base area as I need to, but it is coming out pretty damn smooth over the end of it. So it's all right. I'm about halfway through my living space now, so maybe another couple of weeks of barely any content, but I, I do intend this week to put a couple of hours aside on a day off to start the next campaign. The next campaign is CK2 Vanilla, as the Umiads, and the plan is to reenact <laughs> the culture conversion of France 
by uh, invading France with my Islamic caliphate, and we're going to have a bit of fun with that. I do intend to start something with the CQ2 Game of Thrones mod, now that it's a new version. The Orain Waters, I was having a lot of fun with that campaign, but the crashes were unfucking bearable. Not sure what I'm going to do next. Maybe uh, Davos Seaworth, have a little play of him, see what I can do. Try and... There's not really much. Unless you're playing as Stannis, there's not much to do in that in that area. So I'll, I'll have a look, we'll see what... Maybe I'll just fucking do Stannis or Robert's Rebellion again. That's always... That's one of my most fun campaigns, Robert Rebellion. Rebellion. Robert's Rebellion, if I get my fucking words out. Robert's Rebellion and Rob Stark are two of my favourite fucking campaigns. I've just done Rob Stark. I think I did Robert's Rebellion back around February. So it's been over half a year. I could play as someone else. I didn't, don't know when I last played as Rhaegar. Have I even done a campaign as Rhaegar? Not sure. If you can hear that, that's my water pump. I uh, Most people have their water pumps underground or somewhere close to the well. I have broken two, so I have mine above ground, so it has easy access. But Ayo, it's not the worst thing in the world. I have it unplugged through the night. comes on about once every hour for a minute. But yeah, that's why uh, I just want to give an explanation why I've been uploading so much. We're working on the house. We're making some great progress. And I don't want to distract myself and get in a rut not working again. If I take a couple of days off, I'm going to lose the motivation. Right now, I'm in a good routine. I do a few jobs a day. I'm progressing. But by the time I do these few jobs, I don't want to be sitting down recording. I want to be relaxing, watching live PD or Trailer Park Boys or just playing in my private time. I've uh, been doing a few fun private plan campaigns, and that gives me ideas for uh, series. I do a little thing, but nah, whatever. Also, my cat's doing great, if you're wondering about my cat. If you want to see my cat, head on over to the Discord server. We have a, uh, a pet section where everyone posts pictures of their pets. My cat is on there, if you want to see videos of cats. Just head on over to Discord server, it's great. We have loads of multiplayer always going on. We're going to be starting up a D&D &D campaign soon, but... We're gonna. I'm gonna limit that to people who've mostly been on there, on here so much. I don't want ten people joining who haven't been a part of the Discord server. So, but I will probably upload that or something. But there's there's loads of sections. Just head on over and check it all out. Is Brand fucking doing whatever the fuck he does? So I'll see you guys there. Uh, thank you for watching. I I hope you enjoy learning about my my law, my my house situation. What I'm doing. Is very fun. I do not regret leaving home at 21 to build a fucking house in the middle of nowhere in Canada. It it's been quite an experience to build character. It's really matured me as a as a human being. But yeah, go ahead and check it out. See you guys there. Bye bye.